Now we're gonna see how to install Docker on Windows. So I'm gonna open up Internet Explorer and basically do the same thing we did with a Mac. I'm just gonna to go to Google and type in Docker Toolbox. I don't actually have it installed on this machine so we can walk through the entire process. So I will go into the Docker Toolbox website, see if that will load. Looks like IE has frozen maybe. Let me just refresh this real quick. So IE is not doing anything. I'm gonna copy this and go into Chrome and see if there's any, have any better luck there. So I'm just pasting in the Docker Toolbox URL. Go ahead and close IE. Here it is. And scroll down, get the one for Windows. Let that download. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause this as that downloads a bit and then I'll come back. Okay, so the download has completed. I'm just gonna go ahead and double click this and begin the installation. And run through everything here. So here's all our different components and I am gonna leave everything selected. And I do want all of this. So all the defaults, everything checked. And this is installing a universal serial bus for the virtual box. I'm gonna let that go ahead and complete. So more drivers for virtual box, I'll let that complete. And another for the network. And that is finished. So I'll go ahead and click out of that. And here we have our terminal. I'm gonna go ahead and start it, let that work. And then we should get the ASCII character for the well or the characters that make up the well and here's a prompt for VirtualBox I'll let that complete and another all right starting VM that could still take a little bit of time hit continue okay so let me start this terminal again see if we get any kind of different result there it is. And let this go ahead and complete and done. So I can do a Docker info. And there we are. Oh, let's see, we have one more pop up. Yes. Yes. All right, try this again. So let me try Docker PS for images. So one thing about this machine here, it's actually a virtual machine, so there may be some things I'll need to do in order for this to work right. But it is installed and ready to be used, but again, if I want to use this in this virtual machine, I think I'm gonna have to make a few modifications. So on a standalone machine, I believe this would work a lot better without running into these kinds of errors. But that is a walkthrough of the installation on Windows to get Docker up and running. And when you want to use it, you can go to type in Docker and there's the quick start terminal. You can right click and pin that to your menu as well. So start menu or taskbar if you want to, if you need to always use it a lot. So that's how to install Docker on a Windows machine.